Hello everyone, this is Megan Hagedorn with the Marks Group. Welcome to the first webinar for Microsoft Teams. This video will be posted on the Marks Group YouTube channel for future reference. So to kick things off, uh, we'll review how to enable Teams and access the administrative settings, where to find the release notes, and where to find notification settings and how to enable Skype for Business to work with your Teams instance. <coughs> Okay, so let's get started with enabling Teams. First, we'll go to portal.office.com and sign in. Next, we'll find the admin um, tile. If you can't find it, you'll probably need to talk to um, your IT administrator. So we see admin here. We'll hop on over to the admin portal. Next, click Settings, then Services and Add-ins. You can search or scroll for Microsoft Teams in this list, um, or you can search for it right here. So we'll select this. Okay, great. So to turn Teams on, all you need to do is click this toggle. Um, ours is already turned on uh, for our organization, but um, once you do turn it on, you'll see all of these administrative options below. I advise checking out at least the options for calls and meetings um, and messaging. Uh, the calls and meetings options allow you to set if you allow scheduling, um, scheduled meetings and videos and meetings and then screen sharing, um, which is an important one for a lot of organizations. Um, in the messaging section, you can restrict um, the content rating of the uh, the GIFs and the, the other things that you can add to the messages, um, and that's strict, moderate, or allow all content. Moderate is selected by default. Um, and then you can also enable um, memes and stickers in your messaging. Okay, so now you've enabled Teams, um, we are going to scoot over to the desktop um, application of Teams and check out the release notes. So, um, find, go ahead and find and open your Microsoft Teams instance and sign in. Um, and it'll probably take you to this page to start. Um, so we will first go to chat and then we'll click on Tbot here. And then we'll go to release notes um, in a minute. But Tbot, I actually just wanted to explain. Uh, Tbot is a built-in helper tool from Microsoft. Um, you can actually type in questions down here if uh, if bots have been enabled by your administrator up in that administrative settings where we just were. Um, so you can ask it questions like, like how do I schedule a meeting? Um, where can I find the release notes? Um, when can I start using bots? Um, all those sorts of things. Um, so bots are kind of still in development, or I guess they were up until this week, apparently. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but, uh, so we will be discussing bots in a future webinar um, in detail because they're a, they're a whole thing. Um, so let's go to release notes. So we'll click on this tab here. And voila, you can see all of the release notes here. Um, they come out usually weekly um, and they are beefy. Uh, since Microsoft Teams is brand new, um, since Microsoft Teams is brand new, uh, the release notes are like really, really great and um, have a wealth of information because of all of the new features that are being added constantly. So um, I mentioned bots before. It looks like as of March 9th, they have released bots 
kind of into the wild. So um, yeah, as I said, we will be going over that in a future webinar. Um, but you can find a lot of really neat um, information here and like new features and uh, even how to um, take advantage of those new features. They'll even put in little instructions sometimes. So highly, highly recommend keeping an eye on the release notes since this, as I said, since this is such a new program, um, they're releasing a lot of new stuff very frequently. Um, so it's good to keep an eye on that. So um, now that we've checked out the release notes and we know where those are now, we want to check out the notification settings and make sure that Skype for Business is enabled. So to do that, we're going to click on our user icon down here on the lower left, and we're going to click on notifications. So this will bring up the notification settings um, menu. And here you can toggle through uh, the notification settings, and usually it's uh, the options are like banner, um, email, or alerts list, and you can peruse these and set them to whatever you like. Um, but I wanted to specifically mention Skype for Business because I don't, I personally don't think this is the most logical place for this option to go. So I wanted to call light to the fact that it's under notification settings. Um, so. We want to, this is disabled by default, um, so if you want to enable it for, your, for yourself, um, just make sure you click Enabled, and that will restart the application um, when you do that. But once it is restarted, it is good to go, and you don't need to worry about um, enabling it again in the future. So, um, that is it for this month's webinar, um, this month's tips and tricks. Keep an eye on the newsletter for next month's tips and tricks um, and next month's webinar. Uh, you can reach me if you have any questions at all at megan at marksgroup.net, M-E-G-A-N at marksgroup.net. Um, thank you so much for joining and I hope you see you, I hope to see you next webinar. Have a great week.